MacGuffin Reviews. Do, 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 do. Fred, eh, eh, MacGuffin Reviews. Hi, welcome to Fred MacGuffin Reviews. This is my channel. Thanks for joining me. Golden Hats, five stars. Top Gun Maverick. Yes. Yes, lightning in a bottle. Five stars. Five out of five. Go watch it. Come back to me. I'm going to talk about it. You've probably seen it. Everyone's seen it. It's made a billions. Tom Cruise's first billion dollar movie. Thank Tom Cruise. Thank you, Tom Cruise. Yes. Oh my goodness. You're going to enjoy this so much. On paper, a sequel to Top Gun. Why do it? Why do it? Could it work? Could it work? It did work. It did work. Wow. What a great time you're going to have. If you haven't seen this. Um, we've got... We've got uh, J Joseph Kosinski directing. Now you may know him from such classics as as uh, Only the Brave. You have, he's directed Tron Legacy, a very visual director, Oblivion. Um, yeah, Spiderhead's another one he has at the moment. Have a great visual director in Joseph Kosinski. You have Macquarie, Christopher Macquarie. You know his name. He he's. He's in the background with the writing, and uh, he he directed and wrote Mission Impossible Fallout and Rogue Nation. So another major talent behind this top the best you know one of the really best directors now in action at the moment and uh, writing. You've got the greatest stuntman in the world, Tom Cruise, risking life and limb for our. Cinema entertainment, amazing stunt work, aerial, aerial, uh, aerial cinematography in this, just mind blown. I mean, they're staying away from CGI as much as possible. I mean, if, if there is any in this, it's, it's not much. I mean, it's just some amazing work in this visually. The script is pitch perfect for a sequel, and we have Jennifer Connelly in this as. Uh, Maverick's love interest and um, didn't work out with Charlie from you know the first Top Gun yeah this you have John Hamm as the you know grumpy sort of uh, Top Gun boss yeah and uh, yeah so Maverick's still doing it Maverick's still you know chasing chasing speed yeah he still feels the need the need for speed and who's good and he's still doing his thing he's 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 not taking promotions, he's not, um, you know, he's, he doesn't want to be an admiral, he just wants to fly, he just wants to go fast, he just wants to, you know, do his thing. He's a, he's maverick. Mm. Um, so yeah, the, the, now I'm going to spoil the story a bit, so go and watch it, come back, and um, where's my, where's my spoiler card? Yeah, spoiler, spoiler, go and watch it, come back, spoiler warning, spoiler warning. So yeah. The program he's on, he's, te he's in test flights for this, uh, trying to beat his speed record in this jazz, and he, once, once he does that, of course he does it. He, um, he sort of, that, that sort of, uh, project ends, and he goes to train the best of the best for a really dangerous mission, a really dangerous mission, and, um, but one of the people involved in this dangerous mission is, uh, Goose's son, played by Miles Teller bringing stuff and uh yeah great, always great to see miles teller in action and they yeah he has to train this elite maverick has to train this elite group for this mission and the mission is once you get to that part this this kicks up another notch or two it's just great edge of your seat stuff amazing the film work the the way it captures the you know it basically has you in the cockpit for this and uh yeah, I wish I'd seen this in IMAX, saw it in the cinema, but I wish I'd seen it on an IMAX screen. And, you know, if it ever comes back to IMAX, I'm going to see it because, my God, it's uh, stunning, stunning work. Um, yeah, round of applause to everyone behind the scenes in this one. Stunning stuff. You're going to have such a great time. Yeah, top gun. Who else do we need to talk about this? Who? Yeah. Um, okay, we've got Christopher McQuarrie, 
yeah, you've got once the Tom Cruise and Christopher McQuarrie are together, things magic happens. And um, Tom Cruise held us back for two years because he wanted people to see the big screen, and thank goodness he did. Uh, you know, imagine imagine sitting on this film for two years. I can't imagine. You know, because you want everyone to see it as soon as possible, because they definitely, definitely have lightning in the bottle here. It's it's pure class and um yeah tom cruise doing it again just you know and of course cinema's heart being this brings us back to tony scott's film or his sort of aesthetic and uh that's that's really nice bringing us in from tony scott's vision in top gun to that similar vision in this uh with the cinematography and um yeah just the, the tone, yeah, so great stuff, you, you know, you can't fault this, five out of five, you know, watch it any way you can, it's, you won't regret it, you're gonna have a great time, so yeah, um, Top Gun 3, we need it, we need it, so this has been Fred McGuffin of Fred McGuffin Reviews, Away to the danger zone. My way to the danger zone.